Hello and welcome to the Swapfire Strategy and Tactics Guide. King of the Hill is an age-old game mode made new again by RQI's teleportation technology. Now let's take a look at some of the strategies and tactics you can use here to best the competition. The shield power-up makes you hard to swap with while holding the hill. If a player holding the hill has a shield power-up, use a swap bomb to break through it. Hover above a chasm while trying to tag the person holding the hill in order to swap them off, causing them a big time penalty. With the speed power-up, you can easily outrun the competition by jumping through wall openings. Use the jump power-up to get on top of the hill. Tagging other players from this vantage point is like shooting fish in a barrel. Well, that's about it for King of the Hill. Please stay tuned to find out more strategies and tactics throughout the Swapfire competition. Capture the Flag is another familiar game type that's been neo-retrofitted for the Swampfire competition. Players all begin in a central cage. The first player to tag the red swap buddy near the goal will escape the cage for a chance to acquire the flag at the other end of the field and make an attempt to score. The speed power-up allows you to move across the map with ease and confuse your opponents. Use the jump power-up to stay out of sight. Hug the walls tightly to avoid being swapped, especially near the central cage. The shield power-up keeps you safe while outside the cage. Just remember that there is a swap bomb at the top of the cage, which your opponents can easily grab to break through your shield. That's it for Capture the Flag, now let's move on! Ha ha ha! Now it's time for Swalker, one of my favorite modes and the last of the familiar game types that we'll be covering today. This is a fast and furious mode based on traditional soccer that requires precision aiming and 360 degree situational awareness. A swap bomb can swap the ball. Activate one while jumping towards your own goal to give the ball momentum in that direction and score without ever firing your Einroth's cannon. When you do fire your Einroth's cannon, be very selective with your aim. It's easy to accidentally swap with another player instead of pushing the ball. Entering a goal zone will teleport you back to the center of the field. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Swapfire Strategies and Tactics. We'll be back again soon with another episode to talk about Swapfire's additional six game types and their associated strategies and tactics. Until then, be ever mindful of your space time.